UConn women are getting ready for their big game this evening. They're set to play in their 11th straight Final Four in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, the Huskies are going to take on Notre Dame tonight. News 8's Eric Dobrat's live for us in Columbus, where the fans are already starting to get fired up for tonight. Eric. Yeah, Darren and Ann, it's finally game day. It seems like it's been forever. The Huskies haven't played since Monday night in Albany, but as you mentioned tonight, they will play Notre Dame, and UConn fans have showed up here in droves. Columbus, normally an NHL city, has transformed into Turney Town. Stores is almost 700 miles from Columbus, but that hasn't stopped UConn fans from taking over the city. A popular spot today, Turney Town. Beth Rosa and her family have seen UConn in five or six Final Fours. They're amazing. They're just, it's such a team player. He brings out the best in all of them. And no, they're so unselfish about how they play, but they play at such a high level. They're amazing. Old Sabrook's David Smith is a big UConn fan, and he's a regular at these championship events. What are you doing here? This looks like a hobby of yours. Have you been here before? We, this is our 13th Final Four game. We came in 1995 when Rebecca Lobo won her first one. And if you can see that on the hat. It's not just fans, but relatives too. Gabby Williams' uncle, Michael Williams, is here from Reno, Nevada. Tonight, I think they'll do it. Uh, I, I know they're, they got it in their heart. They're ready to win. Last year was an upset, so they're ready. Suzanne and Rick drove here all the way from Ansonia, watching some hoops and taking in some music. First Final Four. We've always wanted to come, but we never did. But this is our first, so we decided to come since it's Columbus, Ohio. Daughters in the pet band. The Daughters pet in band? the UConn pet band. So we decided to come. She's a senior her last year here. First time in the pet band at the Final Four. So we thought we would come and see the whole thing. And the pep band won this afternoon, so UConn fans are hoping to keep that winning going. We're still about four and a half hours away from tip-off. Louisville and Mississippi State playing the first game, followed by UConn and Notre Dame. Live in Columbus, Ohio, I'm Eric Dobratz, News 8 Sports.